Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a free VPN extension in Chrome. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, uh, for you to add a VPN extension in Chrome, we what we need to do first here is we want to go ahead and open up our browser and access our Chrome web store. Or in this case, we want to visit the extension web store. Now let's go open up Chrome here. And in here, what we need to do first is we need to again, access the Chrome store. Now at the top right, you wanna click on the three dotted icon here and wanna go to extension and just click on visit Chrome web store. Now in here, you should be able to see the Chrome web store landing page. Now, whenever we actually visit the store here, it actually allows you to do a few things. So in this case, it allows you to search. So typically when you search VPN here, it's going to give you different results that you could use here. Now, again, there's going to be a lot of VPNs to choose from here. Now, there are going to be some free ones, some paid ones, and some app that actually, or in this case, some extensions that actually allows you to try their services first before buying the actual product. So in this case, I'll be showing you three products here that you might want to actually start using. So in this case, first, a uh, uh, app here that you could use is first is going to be Proton VPN. Now in this case, uh, it actually has a, has a lot of users here. So currently there's around 200,000 users. And the great thing about Proton VPN here is you could actually use the app uh, for free. But again, uh, if you want to access different uh, locations or more locations, you need to get the upgrade plan for you to fully utilize this. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and use this by clicking on the add to Chrome option here and just proceed with the account create or the account creation process, sign up for you to basically start using the product itself. Now, another app or in this case extension that you can use is going to be NordVPN, which in this case, this actually allows you to, again, use it for free. But then again, there are going to be some paywall that you need to pay for you to access more uh, connections that you could use for your account. Now, same thing with Proton VPN. You need to have an account for you to start using the actual app. Now, personally, what I like using is the app here that is free VPN for Chrome, which is VPN. So this is from VPN.com. So the great thing about this one is you don't need to actually install or uh, sorry, you don't need to actually create an account for this one. So you can just immediately use it. So typically you just need to click on the add to Chrome here, wait for the installation. And once the installation is complete, you want to ensure that this app is actually turned on. So for you to ensure that, go ahead and click on the puzzle icon or extension icon here. Go click on manage extensions. And in here, you want to look for VPN. So it's going to be at the very bottom here. So usually in here, you should be able to uh, turn it on. So if you don't see it, you can go and click on control F just type in VPN. So in here, you should be able to turn it on. Uh, if you see it blue, or if this switch is actually turned on, it means that it's currently working. You don't need to do anything in here. Now, once you've installed this, you should be able to see an icon that is grayed out that has a similar structure for a VPN. And once you click on it, you now have the option to start connecting. Now, you could choose your location here. So uh, mine, I actually selected USA here. So you can change this to other regions as well or other countries that you could use like France, Netherlands, Russia, and Singapore. But if you want to access more like Argentina, Austria, Belarus, or Belgium, or Bulgaria, or in this case, uh, Canada as well, uh, you need to get or buy their plan. So as you can see, it's currently locked. So if you want to buy it, you need to go to uh, the upgrade to pro version here. But then again, you can go and just select the free ones here if you don't want to. Now, once you've done that, you can go and click on the uh, turn on button here. So it actually starts the connection itself. But once it's actually turned on, this will actually connect or use the VPN within the actual uh, browser you have right now. So you can go and click on no tanks, continue as free here. So that we don't want to buy it. As you can see, it's now VPN is on. So you can go and start browsing and access those websites that you weren't uh, able to access before. But yeah, if you want to turn this off, just click on the uh, I, the turn off button here, the button itself that you use to turn this on. But from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.